Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to continue learning about the Create tool, but we're going to specifically cover layered PDFs. Let's look at another function within the Create dropdown. So we'll go to File and Create, and now we have Layered PDF. This is a very powerful tool. This allows us to take multiple files and literally place them on top of each other and create one combined file with them. So we don't want to do all the pages in our files. So what I'll do is, is I'll add all open files, but I'm going to remove some from this list. For example, I don't need this from the list and I actually don't need this file either, but we're going to actually use this file and use a page from it. So what I'll do is, is I'll select the first file, our default file, and I'll click on modify. Here I can choose which pages I want to include. So in this case, I just want to include page one and now I'll click OK. And what I'll do is, is with the second file, which is essentially a copy of the first file, I will click on modify and this time I'll do page two. And that will be good because now we'll see what is being added. Now we might not see too much because we're basically adding similar lines on top of similar lines, but this is a great way to combine markups from one file to another. So now if I wanted to, I could use file name as layer name, but I don't need to do that. Um, I think I'm just going to uncheck that and we don't need to use our file name for that. And let's just click OK and let's see what happens. It's going to make a brand new file. It's called document one. And what you'll notice is that it did not bring in any markups. Right now, only the vector data was brought in. It's kind of been duplicated, although some of it has shifted slightly. So both files are not exactly identical. And now we can kind of see exactly what changed. So it looks like the old page is actually an older version. It had an older logo for Bluebeam. So now we can kind of use this in a way like a comparison or overlay tool, so to speak, but we can't really see what changed. So we may as well use the real comparison and overlay tools. Look at that. Even the restrooms here have shifted a bit, especially in this area right here. So it looks like a lot of small little changes have happened in these PDFs. And that's how you can use the create and layered PDF function. It's actually quite powerful. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on layered PDFs in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope to see you in our next tutorial on PDF packages.